What is going on guys, this is Johnny here of Freshcom 10 YouTube and welcome back to the Android Studio app development tutorials and today we're just going to continue with our contact manager app. So what I actually want to change right here is uh, the on text change event because I was kind of confused yesterday um, because I was using I, I was used to C Sharp because I'm, I'm actually a C Sharp developer um, and I don't really like Java but uh, it was my bad, I'm really sorry that I messed this up but uh, now we're going to fix this so we are going to use the set, uh, dot set enabled method but we're going to do this slightly different so first I'm going to just basically make this a negative statement right here and I'm just basically going to say um, wherever that is name txt dot get text and then this is actually going to return an editable so uh, this won't work so we have to convert this to a string so just to string and then dot trim so a trim basically just is just going to trim all the uh, white spaces in front or at the end of the string um, and now dot is empty just like that so if the text so this is of course a method chaining at its finest <laughs> and uh, yeah so it's just going to be enabled if uh, the text in the name txt is not equal to nothing. So if there, if anyone enters anything in there which is not a white space or nothing at all, then it will just work fine. So this is what the code basically says, and I hope this is <laughs> gonna work. Um, yeah, but I think this is a better method than before, a lot better actually. But okay. All right. So this is it for uh, our on text change event. Uh, or yeah, it's no whatever it is. And now we're gonna get back to the layout because what I actually want to implement today is a tab view. Now I'm gonna do this by just going down here and I'm gonna see the tab host right here. I'm just gonna drag and drop this in here. Okay, so now this is uh, gonna be looking quite bad actually. So first I have to actually put this below the device screen right here. So actually. Yeah, okay, we can leave that in the linear layout here, but I'm going to get to this uh, in a second. So first, I actually have to um, make this fill the parent here as well. So we're just going to do fill parent like that. Then I'm going to expand this right here, and you're going to see that there are quite some layouts in here. So we have the tab content right here, and this is basically the important part. So this one here is going to be a linear layout, which is going to be vertical. We have to remember that. So what we're going to do... Um, I'm going to do orientation and then we have to put this on vertical and I'm going to do this to all the tabs right here. So just tab 3 and vertical. Just like this. Okay. And now to actually, uh, I, what I want to do, I want to put all these elements in the first tab because the first tab is actually going to be um, the kind of the creator tab. So I'm just going to call this creator tab right here, change the ID and then I'm going to go Oh yeah, of course, there's no text, and we have to actually um, fill these tabs pro uh, programmatically. So I'm just going to get rid of the second tab because we don't need that. And this one here is actually going to be the uh, something like the creator. Uh, I don't know, it's kind of the where it's stored. So I'm just going to call tab contact store. Something like that. <laughs> I don't know, there's probably a way better name for that but uh, I don't know and of course this is tab creator I'm sorry because what I usually do is that uh, that's actually a better way than just doing creator tab because what this basically says is that uh, we are specifying what it is first so in the uh, in the auto completion feature it's actually if we type tab it's gonna list all the tabs so we already know we want a tab so this is all we have to list if we type creator and we have something like the contact store tab then this is gonna list as well which is not necessary in my opinion so this is a way better way than uh, just uh, yeah just reversing this order okay um, so now to get all these elements in there we just uh, uh, use shift and take all of these and we're actually going to put all of these in the tab creator right here and now we have all of a okay that's reversed interesting okay <laughs> oh great <laughs> um, okay then let's uh, not do that <laughs> oh that's amazing it really is it really really is <laughs> oh I love it Okay, so let's use this first, then 
then that, then that. I don't even know why that's not working. Why is it reversing that? That doesn't really make sense at all, but okay. Fine. Then don't. So we just could drag and drop. Of course, we can do this in the XML file as well, but um, just gonna use it like that right now. Okay, so as you can see, uh, now we have our tab view right here. And of course, what's different right now is um, that this tab is not actually gonna be set up. Now, this is actually gonna be kind of tricky to do. So this is actually not quite clear how to do this. So we have to go into the code. And now, despite all of that, but uh, we have to add a tab host right here. So I'm just, just going to do tab host. And then we have to import this. And I'm just going to call this tab host equals to. And then tab host find view by id r dot id dot tab host. Okay, so now we have a tab host, and now to actually get started with this, um, this is all the text change stuff. I think I'm just going to set up the tab host here. That's a better idea, I guess. So tab host that's set up, this is the method we're going to use. And once it's set up, we're actually going to need to add a tab to the tab host. So you have to type tab host dot tab spec, and then I'm just going to call this tab spec equals to... Um, tab host dot new tab spec and now we have to add a tag to this so we actually know what this is so the first tab was I think the creator so I'm just gonna add the creator tag right here okay and now we can refer to the tab spec so tab spec dot set content which is the first thing because the content is of course r dot id dot and then we need the tab creator so this is going to be the uh, the content for our tab, and now we need the uh, um, the label or something. That's the set indicator. That's what it is right here, and this indicator basically says what the name on it is. So we're just gonna call this creator, like that. Okay, and now we're just gonna do tab spec. Uh, well, do we have anything else here? Okay, that's great. So now you just have to do tab host dot add tab and then tab spec. Now we're done with this, um, all we have to do is actually refer this another time, so I'm just going to go ahead and copy this, put this right here, and now we can reuse the tab spec, we don't actually have to create another variable, another object, and now this is of course not the creator, this is the store, oh, I don't know, it's kind of the context book, isn't it? Okay, I'm just going to call this context store, whatever, <laughs> it's a horrible name, I know. Um, Oh, let's call this list. Ah, that, that's a good idea. So just call this list and contact. Yeah, this is our contact list. Okay, that's a way better name. So now list. And now I'm going to change the ID here. Uh, ID here. ID. Um, contact store is now going to be the... What was I talking about? It was tab something. Um, List. Okay. <laughs> Uh, tab list, that's kind of kind of a bad name because list is of course something we are going to use as well. We're gonna use list views. So I'm just gonna call this tab contact list. Okay, and now r dot id dot tab contact list. Like that. So now we got that set up. And now this should actually work already. So this is our um our tab right here, we got a tab host added, and of course, we are going to add some stuff to the type contact list. So, we're going to basically make a list of all the contacts you're going to create here. And whenever the button is pressed right here, we are actually going to make a message. But before we actually get to that, I'm actually going to start the uh, emulator and I'm going to show you the yeah, what, what we made so far. So, I'll be right back. Okay, so now we can just. Okay, so this is our Android device right here. I'm just going to minimize that, and now we're going to debug the application. The application app, <laughs> whatever. Okay, and it's going to make this, and it's going to build our um, project. And we are going to use this beautiful emulator then uh, to see how our application looks like. So now, as you can see, it says emulator tutorial device, and now hit just just hit OK. And now it is going to install this on. Uh, this emulator <coughs> and we will be able to see it in a second okay now it's gonna launch the application and here we are this is our contact manager and this is how it looks like so as you can see 
uh, if you're going to take this and you can see that this is perfectly working so if I actually get rid of this it's uh, if I type space all the time it's not going to do anything but if I type uh, a name or anything like that it is of course going to enable this add contact button and now if we go to the list there's nothing in it so far but uh, we can add that in the future so also if I put anything in here you're going to see that of course this is not going to be enabled but if I and anything in here it is going to be enabled like this okay so that's it for this uh, for our app so far um, okay and also we have settings which is quite cool okay now let's get back to the um, and let's get rid of this app uh, uh, okay it's gone fine okay so now I'm just gonna Okay, get rid of that. Okay, so now we're pretty much done with that, but I'm going to add one last thing in this tutorial, which is going to be the click event. We're just going to have a little message, which is going to say, well, uh, you created your contact. This is all I'm going to do. So we're going to go to the button right here, and I'm going to add the uh, click listener. So add button dot set on click listener, and then you on click listener. And then it's going to generate that um, on click event for us. And then we're just going to do toast dot make text. And then get application context. Context. And then we have to enter our message. Then just your contact has been created. And then you just have to specify length. Then I'm just going to do length. Uh, it's actually toast at length. So I think you can't use that. Toast dot length short, and then dot show. Like that, and now we have to import toast. Oh, already imported that. Okay, thanks. <laughs> okay, so now it's just gonna say your contact has been created as a little message. Uh, yeah, and just quickly gonna debug this. <coughs> And we're going to see how it will look like. So this is the final thing. And uh, let's see. Okay, so this is quite cool. This is our app so far. So um, I think it's quite nice. Um, and we're going to continue with this uh, tomorrow or even today. I'm not sure when I'm going to put up the next tutorial, but it's going to be soon. So now if I put a name right here and we click Add Contact, it's going to say your contact has been created with this little uh, notify message right here. So we could just... <laughs> Yeah, dude, like that. And we're going to add more to this in the future. So, yeah, this is quite nice, I guess. All right, guys. So, thanks for watching. And uh, I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye.